Hey, Darwin here. I'm just going to take you through a little bit of info about the um, scheduled and on-demand tasks guided exploration that I've built. Uh, we get this question quite a bit from folks. They say, hey, you know, I understand how to build a GitLab CI YAML and have a pipeline, but I'd also like to have some scheduled tasks in there that only run on a schedule, or I'd like to cause the pipeline to be executed with just a few jobs, not all of the jobs. So normally as folks start looking around and trying to understand, well, what exactly um, uh, can I start doing here to control this? They end up finding out that we have the CI pipeline source variable and they see that, oh, there's a lot of different details here. And look at here, schedule and web. And of course, schedule controls whether these scheduled jobs are have been used to trigger this pipeline and web controls whether someone has gone in and pushed run pipeline. So it starts to become natural to think about using those in order to create these capabilities. Um, however, as you go down that path, it starts to get more complicated. And uh, as we go through this guided exploration, I'll give you uh, some ideas why. Much of what I cover in the video is right here in the readme of the guided exploration as well. So instead of talking through this detail, I'm just going to walk you through it. So the proposal and the way that I've implemented here is to instead of using pipeline source, just use a custom variable that names the task or task set that you'd like to use. So let's take a look at this code. Uh, if we go in here, oops, sorry, got to go into the YAML. If we go into the YAML, <coughs> we'll skip uh, uh, forward some of the top stuff just to get an idea here. So we have a task called security scan, and all we do is say rules if target task name equals task security scan. In this case, we're not really implementing the task, so we just say, hey, thanks for running this job. Now, one of the requirements that ends up coming up is, okay, that's well and good if everything I wanna do is in one job, but what if I'm running two jobs, but I technically consider it one task. So this target task name allows you to do that as well. So down here, um, we have a task that has two stages, some sort of setup task and then some sort of uh, actual work task. So we just simply give it the same um, task name and then that way when we run it, both of these will run. Now, as soon as you do that, someone's gonna say, well, oops, they run at the same time unless I give them a stage. So what I have done is created stages that are task specific that allow you to order the task. They are very generically named because if you have five or six tasks in here which have multiple jobs and may have multiple uh, sequencing requirements, then you can, of course, use these uh, generically throughout all of your tasks just to create simple order. Another requirement is I'd like to run five or six tasks at the same time of day. Um, and so you can also just use this task name concept to group jobs that may or may not be related as far as what they're doing but they're related by the fact that you want to run them at a certain time. Uh, I think that's basically all the task scenarios. Now, as soon as you do this, uh, you run into the scenario that as soon as we say we have inclusive logic, we're going to notice that any job that doesn't have inclusive or exclusive logic will also run. So if this has got a regular pipeline in this file as well, then every time you run a task, it's also going to run the regular pipeline, which is not what we want to do. So by using a simple um, task name, we can also simplify knocking out everything else in the pipeline. And in this case, I've used a YAML anchor because we're gonna have to add it to every last job that's not a task job. So at the top of our code here, we have um, that YAML anchor. The, the main secret is just to say, if the task name exists, don't run this. This other little secret, though, helps us prevent uh, these tasks from running by themselves in certain scenarios, mainly auto DevOps. Um, but that also helps you as well. So this is going to be added to every task or every job that's not part of a task. You can also see here that I have the stages that are special for tasks um, uh, identified and separated from my other uh, stages. Uh, to see this in action, we'll go down to schedules. And we have several schedules. So one is the multi-job task. Another one is all tasks uh, that are supposed to run at 2 a.m. And then we have this cron security task. So I'm just going to hit play on one of these. So we're going to go take a look at that running. And actually, let's go to pipelines so we can see the complete set here. 
So you can see that this is running. We click in and we see that the two jobs that are supposed to run at 2 a.m. are all that are running. Uh, if we open them, of course, they just have the little echo message uh, to the screen. Uh, and then uh, right here, and then we'll also take a look at running a task on demand. Let's pick up one that is, and of course, the other interesting thing about doing it this way is any scheduled task can also be an on-demand task. So if we want to run everything from 2 a.m., we could actually do that as a regular task. We don't have to use uh, the scheduler. Um, so on this one, we'll just say, grab this uh, task name and we'll go into pipelines. Okay, so we'll paste in here and we'll do target task name. So we are picking a task to run on demand. Hit uh, run pipeline. And if we've done this right, then just our one task runs. So that's just a little bit of uh, code that might help you out in handling this uh, issue of having scheduled and on-demand tasks mixed in a regular pipeline. The link for this video is right here on the screen. I'll also put it in the YouTube comments. And if you find this repository helpful, just encourage you to use the little star right up here to indicate that it's something that's helpful to you. Thanks a lot.